In this module, we shall prove that G over N is a group. Where G is a group and N is a normal subgroup of G. And uh, it is known as the quotient group. If N is a normal subgroup of a group G, the left coset of N in G are the same as the right coset of N in G. This is the condition of being normal subgroup. So there will be no ambiguity in just talking about the cosets of N in G because left coset and right cosets are equal. Let's state the theorem. If N is a normal subgroup of G, G is a group under multiplication, the set of cosets G over N is given by set of all right cosets N G such that G belonging to G. For every G belonging to G in this collection, we have all the right cosets of N in G. And this collection forms a group G over N under multiplication, where the operation multiplication is defined by NG1 into NG2. We have picked two arbitrary right cosets and it is equal to n g1 into g2 as you know that g is a group or g1 g2 ek g ka element hai this group is called the quotient group or factor group of g by n now we prove the theorem to prove this theorem uh, actually, we want to show that G over N is a group and first we have to show that the binary operation is well defined. Then we shall prove the axioms of the group that is uh, associative property, cloyer property, associative property, existence of identity element and existence of inverse. Let's start with proving the operation is well defined. The operation multiplication of multiplying two cosets NG1 and NG2 is defined in terms of particular elements G1 and G2 of the cosets. For this operation to make sense, we have to verify that if we choose different elements H1 and H2 in the same coset, the product coset NH1 dot H2 is the same as NG1 dot G2. In other words, we have to show that multiplication of cosets is well defined. Since H1 is in the same coset as G1, we have H1 is congruent to G1 under modulo N. Similarly, H2 is congruent to G2 under modulo N. We want to show that N H1 H2 equal to N G1 G2 that is H1 H2 is congruent to G1 G2 under modulo N in other words. We have H1 G1 inverse equal to N1 belongs to N and as you know that we are given N is the normal subgroup and H2 G2 inverse equal to N2 belongs to N. So we shall have H1 H2 
G1, G2 inverse और inverse की property हम use करेंगे G1, G2 inverse को हम G2 inverse, G1 inverse लिख सकते हैं क्योंकि जब आप inverse लेंगे product of elements का तो वो reverse order में आएगा पहले G2 का inverse आएगा फिर into G1 का inverse आएगा uh, this is equal to n1 g1 n2 g2 g2 inverse g1 inverse because h1 equal to n1 g1 from the above equation and h2 equal to n2 g2 and this is equal to n1 g1 n2 g1 inverse because n is a normal subgroup so g1 n2 g1 inverse belongs to n and uh, n1 is also belongs to n so in this manner we have proved that uh, h1 h2 into g1 g2 inverse belongs to n consequently we have h1 h2 is congruent to g1 g2 under modulo n and uh, we uh, were required this so we have proved that the uh, operation is well defined and equivalently we can write it as n h1 h2 equal to n g1 g2 therefore the operation is well defined now we shall prove the cloyer property uh, let's start with the associative property the because the cloyer property is uh, uh, we are given the definition ng1 into ng2 equal to ng1 g2 and uh, the, uh, it implies that uh, uh, this uh, the set g over n is closed under the given binary operation now we shall establish the associative property the operation is associative because n g1 n g2 within bracket into n g3 you can see that here we have chosen three arbitrary elements of the set g over n and in the set g over n we have all the right cosets so we have chosen three arbitrary right cosets of the set g over n and by using definition of multiplication we shall obtain n g1 g2 within bracket into n g3 again by using the definition of multiplication of cosets we shall obtain n g1 g2 g3 as you know that g is a group and associative property holds in g and g1 g2 g3 are elements of the group g so we can apply the associative property and we shall obtain n g1 g2 g3 within bracket and after that we shall use the uh, definition of multiplication of cosets in the reverse order and we shall obtain and g1 g2 g3 and uh, uh, now we shall obtain uh, by using the definition in the reverse order we shall obtain and g1 dot and g2 g3 and uh, and g1 into and g2 into and g3 uh, by using the again the definition in reverse order so you can see that we have proved that ng1 into ng2 within bracket into ng3 equal to 
NG1 into within bracket NG2 into NG3. Now we shall uh, prove the existence of identity element since NG into NE equal to NGE we have taken because uh, G is a group and identity element uh, is in G and uh, we assume that uh, E is the identity element of G and uh, uh, we have taken here two cosets NE and NG and NE will give us the set N and uh, by using the identity uh, NGE equal to NG because identity element uh, is in G and GE equal to G. So you can see that NE is the identity element in the set G over N. Similarly, on the left hand side, when we multiply NE with NG, we shall obtain NG. So NE is the identity element of uh, G and uh, because E is the identity element of G or NE equal would be equal to N. So in this step we have seen that N is the identity element of the set G over N. Now we are left with the existence of inverse property. The inverse of NG is NG inverse because NG into NG inverse equal to NG into G inverse by using the proper by using the uh, definition of multiplications of right coset in the statement of the theorem and uh, because G and uh, G, capital G is a group and uh, uh, G belongs to G its inverse also belongs to G and uh, G into G inverse is equal to identity element so we shall obtain N E which is equal to N similarly we can prove that N G inverse into N G equal to N Hence, G over N under the given binary operation of multiplication of right cosets is a group.